Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to explain how to find the equation of a line parallel and perpendicular to a line. And the reason why I'm doing both is because initially they're both the same. Uh, the only difference is for the perpendicular line. When you find the slope of a given equation, all you're going to do is input it into the point-slope form of the new equation, but you're going to change it to the negative reciprocal. So, first of all, let me explain something. Line 1 is parallel, that means parallel, to line 2 if and only if the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2. And line 1 is perpendicular, this means perpendicular to line 2 if and only if the slope of line 1 times the slope of line 2 is equal to negative 1. So here's an example. Let's say the slope of this equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. And this would be called line 1. And let's say for line 2, you have y equals 2 thirds x uh, plus 15. Well, since both this slope and this slope are equal, then we say that line 1 and line 2, line 1, is parallel to line 2. For this one here, line 1 perpendicular to line 2 says that for a given equation like y equal you know negative 2x plus 1 that if this is line 1 that a perpendicular line 2 would be y equals 1 half x plus 1. Okay. Now the reason why is because the negative reciprocal of negative 2, which is written like this, negative 2 over 1, this is the reciprocal. The negative reciprocal means this. You multiply it times a negative. So that means that these cancel out, so you get 1 half. So again, another example, if you didn't get this one, let's say I gave you negative 3 fourths. Well, multiply it times negative 1, which would make it 3 fourths, and then flip it over. So 4 thirds. Okay, and now how about this one? How about two thirds? To make it perpendicular, flip it over and multiply it times negative one. So it would be negative three halves. Okay, all right. So I just wanted to make sure this was really clear. So in this case here, when you take this, these two slopes and you multiply them together. So let's just say, for instance, this perpendicular. Let's say we multiply it. I'm just writing it right over it. Just pretend I'm, there's no perpendicular. If I multiply negative 3 fourths times 4 thirds, it's negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And 4 times 3 is 12. So that means this is negative 1. You see, that's where I was saying here. Slope 1 times slope 2 equals negative 1. Now watch this. Here's slope 1. Here's slope 2. Okay. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 over 3 times 2, which is 6. Again, this is equal to negative 1. So two slopes, when you multiply them together, they're equal to negative 1. That means they're perpendicular. Okay, let's say you're given this point, negative 4, 7. And, this means and, a, uh, an equation 6x minus 7y is equal to 30. Step 1. Put this in y equal mx plus b format. So move the 6x, negative 7y is equal to subtracting 6x from both sides, putting my x term first is negative 6x plus 30, then divide by negative 7 every single term, and cancel these. This becomes positive, and this is a negative, so I'll get y is equal to 6 sevenths x minus 30 over 7. And my slope here, m, is equal to 6 sevenths. Okay, so now what we're going to do is first we're going to put our y minus y1 is equal to the slope m times the quantity x minus x1. What we're going to do is label this x1 y1 and now we're going to set up our arrows we're going to replace these variables with numbers y1 m and x1 so let's start bringing things down 
y minus our y1 is 7. Bring down my equal sign. m is equal to 6 sevenths times the quantity. Bring down my x. Bring down my minus sign. And x1 is negative 4. OK, so y minus 7 is equal to distribute the 6 sevenths. Now before we do that, look at this. That becomes positive, right? I hope you see that. OK, now distribute. 6 sevenths x plus 6 times 4 is 24 over 7. So now move the 7 over to the other side by adding it, and you get y is equal to 6 sevenths x plus 24 sevenths plus 7. Well, we need 7 to be a fraction with a denominator of 7, so we can add it to 24 sevenths. So we're going to multiply 7 times 7 over 7 using our property of identities by multiplying by 1. And if you don't understand what that is, I got videos that talk about the axioms of mathematics. So this becomes a 49. And 24 plus 49 is 73. So this will be equal to y is equal to 6 sevenths x plus 73 sevenths. And this would be the line parallel to this line. Now, let's, and so we're just going to put like line 1 is parallel to this line 2. And this is basically line 2, which we're making here, okay? So this is line 2. Now, let's just say, for instance, we need line 1 to be perpendicular. Okay, so in this case here, what you're going to do is to make this perpendicular, so we'll say that this is line 1 here. Okay. And line 2 would look just like just like that one, just like this one right here. Watch. y is equal to now before I start putting the slope in, I want to write everything else in first. Okay. Now, multiply flip it over. What do you get? 7 6. Now multiply that times -1. Negative -7 negative seven, 6. You see? Simple, right? That's basically it. So then now you can say that line 1, which is this one here, is perpendicular to line 2. And so I'll just go ahead and write this over here. Line 1 is parallel to line 2. See, that's all it takes. It's not that difficult. So I hope that you guys understood what, what's going on here. And that's basically the case when it comes to you know, finding the equation of a line, this is exactly what you're doing. You're either going to find a parallel line to it or a perpendicular line to it. Okay, that's, for the most part, that's all they're going to, that's all that's going to be asked of you. So, anyway, I hope this helped, and good luck with your homework and your tests in the future. Thanks for watching.